When you think about the 90s, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Well, if you answer the cartoons, then you truly are a man or a woman of culture, my friend. The 90s were the golden era of animation. Disney didn't suck back then, and Marvel cartoons were actually about superheroes. Point is, I'm just a sucker for 90s cartoons. So you can imagine my reaction to seeing that Marvel decided to make an X-Men cartoon series in the same style of the 90s one. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Well, that was until I saw this. They just had to go and nerf Rogue's visuals. Even Wolverine can find where it's gone. I mean, look at what Rogue looked like in the 90s. And what she looks like now. My disappointment is immeasurable. That's just wrong, oh, sir. I am appalled no. by what they did to her. Well, for a female character nowadays, having assets is a hate crime, apparently. And I know I'm not alone in this. So I decided to take it upon myself to fix this and make her beautiful again, since she's one of my favorite X-Men of all time. So without further ado, let's jump right to it. I opened up my boy Blender and grabbed the beautiful body I had modeled for Gran. Started with adjusting the anatomy as always to better fit the reference from the 90s cartoon. Cause you know accuracy to the source is a top priority over here. Then I sculpted the high resolution details and made a few more cuts in the geometry using the knife too. That's so that the seams match exactly where the colors of her spandex should transition. We're going for a completely cartoony look for this. So instead of painting image textures for the base colors, we are using NPR also known as tune shaders, for the colors. I created one material for each color and used a color ramp node to control the shading and highlight effects. If you've never done an NPR shader before, well, that's no problemo, my friend, cause I'm about to teach ya. Go ahead and grab a shader node of your preference. A diffuse will do just fine. And slap that b inside your material. Turn the shader data into color data using the shader to RGB node and then pass it through a color ramp. Set the interpolation on that to constant because that way the transition between the colors is stepped instead of gradual. Select which colors you want and add as many points as you'd like. All that's left to do now is plug in the result of that directly into the material output. And there you go. It's that simple. So going back to modeling after we're done with the basic mesh of the model, it was time to start picking apart the clothing pieces and separating them as their own meshes. We'll do the gloves, the boots, the belt, and that stylish jacket that Rogue sports. Making sure to scope new details wherever details are needed. Yep, we're almost there, it's looking good. But let's not get too excited. Although Rogue is fully clothed now, the reflection from her scalp is sure to blind me soon. It's time to give her more hair than Professor Xavier has. Well, as they say, Joyce sure lived in a poor man's house. We'll slap a path curve onto her head and we'll add another curve, a circle now, to define the shape for the strands and style it according to the original design. We'll just manipulate the points of the curve until we're satisfied and keep duplicating them until the entire hair is done. And this is how it's looking so far. As you can see, we're cooking some good cakes over here. But there's still one thing missing. Well, you can't have birthday cake without frosting, am I right? Just as you can't have 2D animation without line art. So let's go ahead and fix that. We'll add a blank grease pencil object and give it a line art modifier so that the lines are automatically generated for us. Inside the modifier, we'll set the reference to collection and group all the assets we want to be outlined in a single collection. All right, let's give it a name. How about character? On the collection dropdown, just select the collection we just created and bam, beautiful. The model is pretty much finished. Way to go, guys. Looks like we did it. All that's left for us to do now is to rig it and give it a little bit of life with an animation. We'll add a human armature using Rigify and edit the bones so that they match our model's articulations. We'll generate the rig and bind our model to it. If you want to learn more about rigging, don't worry. I'll dive deeper into it in a future video. Once the rigging is done and working properly, we'll throw in some video reference and animate the scene to remake Rogue's beautiful opening from the 90s cartoon. And with that, we'll call it a day. And this is how it turned out, guys. Hope you had as much fun watching as I did making it. 
Let me know if you liked the video by leaving a like, or if you didn't, by leaving a comment. Are you watching X-Men 97? Let's talk about it in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, slapping that bell button, that way you'll get notified when I upload and won't miss out on anything. If you like this model and would like to use it, it's available for download on my Gumroad. Alright, God bless you and I'll see you later.